And in business news this afternoon, access to external capital markets has been identified as one of the huge challenges in African countries at the opening of the AFDB meeting. Currently, only 21 African countries have a track record of capital market access. In a welcome address, Minister Ken Oforiata wants agencies with influence in investment decisions to ensure capital is directed towards emerging countries with growth initiatives. record of capital market access. Additionally, African countries with market access pay higher interest rates than their peers of similar or worse economic fundamentals. Estimates of what may be termed the African premium reach from 100 and all in costs of 100 to 600 basis points, even after accounting for economic fundamentals. Although our multilateral and bilateral partners introduce well-meaning issues such as the DSSI and Common Framework, their impact has been limited. Similar concerns for the implementation of the Common Framework for the treatment to date. The three countries that subscribe to the initiative are yet to receive their full debt relief. The time has come to ensure that comprehensive support is offered to countries facing challenges of debt pressures. We can start by ensuring that the agencies that influence investment decisions leverage methods and processes that ensure capital is directed towards well-appointed growth initiatives in emerging countries such as ours instead of earning suboptimal returns overseas. Only then can we tackle the inherent bias of African nations viewed as riskier and thus attracting expensive debt. In truth, growth pressures on the continent are not bleak, especially once Africa is not constrained from accessing the requisite capital to succeed.